What's up, Tron Sipes? Uh, right here at the Yamaha test track. Uh, just getting in a little last second, uh, last few days testing and tune and fine tune and get ready for this weekend at Houston. Haven't had the most time to get ready, but I actually feel like I've, uh, I'm more ready because of that. I'm not burnt out, I'm ready to go. So I've been having a lot of fun and uh, ready to go for Houston. Last year, Road East um, on Yamaha also. Uh, different team, but um, really excited about this year. My bike's a lot better. I feel better. I've um, been working with my trainer, Steve Hatch, a lot, and I uh, feel like we got a good program, and I'm ready. The bike's ready. My life ain't never been mine. Yeah, I work hard and yeah, I grind. But not to get rich, man, not to shine. Not to get rich, man, not to shine. And I don't boast much, I don't brag. Because everything I got, man, I got it for dad. And matter of fact, ain't one thing I had. The God ain't put here in my hand. So I say remember that your legs work. Because of them. next time you run it, plug your goals. Think who's really running. I got hurt in 09. And uh, I dislocated my wrist. Had a, the doctors told me, they made me nervous. They were like, this is bad. And I haven't heard that a lot because, I mean, I have, you know, I've been injured a lot, but the way he said it was like, oh, that ain't good. And uh, my wrist, it was ugly. It was displaced about four inches and everything was torn. And I went and got it fixed. It was, I was out like four and a half months and uh, got it all fixed up and they said, even when I was coming back, you know, I was I was riding in, in some pain or whatever, but I'm like, you know, I can hang on, and I was all excited, and I came back and raced some nationals, and they said, you're gonna have complications. And I'm like, well, whatever, just keep going. And uh, a year later, all of a sudden, my hand starts going numb. And then it turned into five, 10 minutes into the moto, I couldn't pull the clutch in. And uh, we ended up going, going to a recluse clutch in my 450 last year to even be able to finish motos because I would have to, I just couldn't pull it in. It would hurt so bad and it was numb. And um, So I went and got some different opinions and they all said it's carpal tunnel. And what it did was scar tissue from the previous injury built up in your, that tunnel, the carpal tunnel in there and it was just pinching on nerves. And uh, they all said six weeks Carpal tunnel surgery is no problem. Six weeks, you'll be back to normal. Four months later, I can just now get back on a bike. So, uh, probably won't go back to that doctor anymore. But uh, um, either way, it's all working out. And uh, I know there's a plan. And I just got to stick to it. And it's all good. I feel like God's always been there. I mean, obviously, you know, He has, but um, when I started getting more into it and getting closer and um, you can just see it more and more. You can see where things happen for a reason that at the time you said, ah, oh, that's just is the worst thing ever. And but then you go, huh, if that hadn't happened, this wouldn't have either. And I like this one. Um, you know, it's that and it's days like today going, you know what? I'm just gonna this is gonna be good. I know there's a plan and I know he works for the good. Romans eight twenty eight. So that's my thing, you know, it's being grounded or having, if, if I've God in here, I believe I can't, I'll always come back to here and I'll have somewhere to, I'll be something when everything else falls apart. Um, I heard a cool quote and I mentioned it at, uh, when I did the interview with Scott, but it said, when everything falls apart, the man who has something to believe in is the one still standing. And I got something to believe in, so I feel like I'll be, I'll be still standing. I'm Ryan Sipes. I'm all about Jesus.
Me and my mechanic Scotty's been working hard and we've been uh, just believing. It's all we can do, you know. We're believing and I'm getting excited for this weekend. I feel like I'm ready to ready to do some work.